for a while, I, it was a really dark, the darkest moment in my life. Not, I mean, here I was, they had saved my leg after those surgeries, but then I'm diagnosed with this disease that's ranked highest on the pain scale. And I'm completely scarred up from the hip down. Mm -hmm. I was stuck in a hospital bed. I lost my career, but I lost my confidence. I lost my self-worth. I felt like I didn't have anything to live for. I felt like I had lost my purpose. I, you know, and thank goodness, you know, just like I had that 1% chance that was my glimmer of hope that got me through each surgery. Mm. I had that little glimmer of light left in me and we all have that light and we have to find ways to make it shine brighter. And so I luckily, I, I you know, I say by the grace of God was able to summon up the courage to admit that I really needed help, that I needed to reach out and I needed to lean in on my community. And then I've even had somebody say, well, you're lucky that you had a community. And I say, you know what? Your hard work puts you where your blessings can find you. And it's up to us to Mm -hmm. build our community. It's not about just, taking, it's really about what can we do? How can we serve? How can we be there for each other? Mm -hmm. And how can we become a team to support one another? And so um, I think community is one of the most important, one of the most important aspects of being resilient is just the community that you surround yourself with. I think that's really fantastic is, you know, someone could be critical. And that's, to me, it's, I don't even know how somebody could be critical of your story based on how you persevered through that. But if someone says, well, you know, that can go for anything, whether it's a motorcycle recovery, or whether it is a, you know, um, financial situation someone's dealing with, or whatever it might be. And someone says, well, they're in this situation, and I'm over here, so I'm not able to do it. In some cases, there's it certainly could be justified, but really, like you said, you built your community. People liked you and wanted to help you out because of the relationships you've built, the networking you've done, the friendships you had, the family that loved and appreciated you. Not everybody has a, a, a great relationship, and sometimes it's because of the coldness that they might be putting out into the world. You were a magnet prior to this happening, it sounds like, right? Uh, and, and- well, you know, I had a big life. I, I've my whole life, I have been most passionate about Mm -hmm. seeing other people thrive and grow and reach their dreams. I've always been a cheerleader. And so whether that was through training my clients or my friendships that I had or my family, Mm -hmm. I had, you know, my business was thriving. I had trainers that worked with me and I liked seeing them grow and their career paths get bigger. And so I had this large network Um, whether it was clients, other trainers. um, And I'm grateful for that in the family, but it, it is a process of putting in the work and not just, you know, it's kind of like when you get, you've got people in your life that when your phone rings and you see their name pop up on your phone, it's a, Oh gosh, what do they want? Or, Oh, wow. It's so-and-so calling, you know, I want to be one of those people that when my phone my name pops up yeah. on their phone. They're like, Oh, it's Amberly. What's going on? You know, not, Oh God, what does she want? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Word is energy. It's the energy that someone is being brought or taken away from when that phone call is answered. 